This video covers the concept of instantaneous acceleration, which is very similar to the concept of instantaneous velocity. In order to find the acceleration at a given instant for an object, you need to analyze the object's velocity versus time graph. These graphs are not always pretty straight lines. Instead, they can be a series of curves, something like this. In the previous video, we discussed how the slope at any given point on a velocity versus time graph is equal to the object's acceleration. With a graph that has a bunch of curved lines, in order to find the slope at any given point, we must draw a tangent line, just like we discussed in the instantaneous velocity video. To review, a tangent line is drawn so it just touches the curve at a point you wish to analyze. It should not cross the curve at the point you wish to analyze. For example, let's draw a tangent line at these points. You see that the tangent lines just touch the points where we want to analyze. Let's find the instantaneous velocity or acceleration at the time 6 seconds. Our first step is to draw a tangent line at the point 6 seconds. So our tangent line can look something like this. Then we must find any two points on this line to analyze. I want to choose the points 5.5,1 and 6,3 because these are points that pass through the graph at easily identifiable points. But you can really actually pick any points along this line because a line has the same slope throughout the entire line and we know that the slope is equal to the acceleration. So now let's take these points and plug them into our acceleration equation. I like to fill out the change in time first. This way I make sure that the, I place the final and initial times in the right place. I can double check that I did this correctly because the change in time must always be positive. So I'm going to do 6 seconds minus the initial time, 5.5 seconds. Now let's fill in the corresponding velocities. We know that the velocity at 6 seconds is 3 meters per second, and the velocity at 5.5 seconds is 1 meter per second. We can then simplify this expression, and we find that the instantaneous acceleration at the time 6 seconds is 4 meters per second squared.